literally recreated the Krusty Krab. <sighs> Welcome to the Krusty Krab. How can I help you? Yo, bro, how I feel to work here? Welcome to the Krusty Krab. How can I help you? Which? Oh, I get it. I, I, get, I, I get it. You supposed to be like Squidward because Squidward always grumpy and he got an attitude all the time. <sighs> okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Dad, what you get? Hell, I'm getting frustrated. You? Why? What you mean? Because I'm looking at this menu and it don't make no damn sense. I just want a hamburger. Sir, can I, can I get a hamburger? I just want a damn burger. Alright, so you just want one Krabby Patty. What? What the hell I want a frozen patty for? What? I said, what the hell am I gonna do with a frozen patty? What the hell? Bro, what is you talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. Dad, he said a Krabby Patty. I don't give a damn if it's a crab patty, a chicken patty, a human patty. God damn it, I want a cooked burger. Dad, dad, dad. A Krabby Patty is a hamburger. That's just what they call it. They call a hamburger a Krabby Patty? Yes, dad. What the hell kind of restaurant? That's stupid! Why not just call the hamburger? You confusing me! Sir, I don't mess with the food. I just work the register. Well, damn it, let me register something to you. If my food come out frozen, best believe your ass is getting kicked. Is that all? No, that's not all! I want a cooked burger, I want some fries, and I want a Sprite. We ain't got no Sprite. Well, damn it, you better go find some. Yeah, and then let me get a Krabby Patty meal with a lemonade. All right, this together or separate? It's this together? Oh, thanks, Dad. I appreciate it. Appreciate what? You paying for my meal. Paying for your meal? Yeah, you said together, right? <laughs> Hell yeah, together as in you paying. You wanted to come here, not me. <laughs> I lost your damn mind. What you mean I'm paying? Exactly what the hell I said. You paying. Dad only got $20. You only got... Excuse me, sir. What's the total? $19.65. Well, would you look at that? You got just enough. Come on, man. What the hell you mean, come on, man? I done took care of your little stankin' ass over 20 years. I done put food in your belly. I done put clothes on your back. I done kept a roof over your head. I done wiped your ass with my bare hand, and you can't even buy me a damn sandwich. Come on, Dad. You causing a scene. <laughs> that ain't me to causing a scene. I ain't causing no damn... Sir, am I causing a scene? Everybody, am I causing a scene? Hell yeah. Shut your ass up. Sir, am I causing a scene? 1965. That's what the hell I thought. Now get a man the money so we can go. <sighs> Talking about I'm causing the scene. Have you seen your mind? Cause obviously you done lost it. Here you go, man. Alright, here's your change, here's your receipt. And we'll call you when it's ready. Appreciate it, man. Damn kids. And you remember what I told you? If my food come out frozen, I'ma freeze my size 11, steal to boot in the crevice of your ass. Can't stand these people. Next! A few moments later. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Son, don't lie to me now. You know, you know if there's ever anything wrong, we can sit here and we can discuss it like mature adults. And you're not gonna yell? No, Dara, I won't yell. <sighs> okay, well, I mean, I, I feel like you embarrassed me in there. Embarrassed you? What the hell you mean I embarrassed you? Dad, you just said you weren't gonna yell. I'm not yelling. That's just how I talk when I get frustrated. Well, let me say something. You got some damn nerve to sit here, look me in my face, and tell me that I embarrassed you. You embarrass me! I am the reason for your existence. You are a specimen of my hard work. I raised you from the one and little sissy, baby. <laughs> that you was, and now you can't even buy me, your one and only, loving dear father, a damn hamburger. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Treat me like that in public. Dad, that was my last $20. And it's a good ass $20, too. What was that? You say you wanna walk home? What? That I didn't even say nothing. Anybody blowing that kind of breath must mean they frustrated. And if you're frustrated, that means you're paying bills. And if you're paying bills, that must mean you're grown. And if you're grown, that means you can walk your grown ass to the house. What you, Dad, the house is 15 minutes from here. By car, yes it is. By foot, I believe it's about an hour and a half. Dad, are you serious? Dad, 
You are not gonna make me walk home from here. So and I see you at the house. Man, come on, man. Wait, son. Thank you for the sandwich. Man. <gasps> Better close my damn door. <laughs> Blowing his damn breath for me. Look at him bust his kneecaps and make his ass crawl home. Damn, kid. More moments later. I swear, man. What was that? Uh, nothing. Oh, you ain't say. Oh, okay, okay. I was just making sure. Now go in there and change your clothes. You look rough, and you smell like outside. All right. And when you finish, come out this damn sweat off my flow. And take the trash out. And water the plants. And wash the clothes. And cook dinner. And then wash the dishes. How about you get your lazy ass up and do it? What the hell you say? I said the love of Jesus gonna get me through it. That better be what you said. Two hours later. <sighs> hey, D. What's up, man? What's good, bro? Hell, nothing to chilly, really. You good? I don't know, bro. Pop just getting on my nerves, man. Hey, what happened? It's a long story, bro. But basically, he embarrassed me down at the new Krusty Krab down the street. Then on top of that, he made me walk home across the highway. And I got hit by a car. Oh, damn, that was you? What the hell? Hey, goddamn, my bad. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be more careful crossing six lanes of traffic. Man, whatever, bro. It don't even matter, man. I mean, you, were, you at least try to talk to him? For what? He ain't gonna do no good, he ain't gonna listen to me. Mmm, okay, okay. D, I'm gonna say this, bro, cause you my friend, and I care about you. I think the problem is, bro, I think you gotta stop being a little bitch. What? You too soft. The reason he talk to you like he do, and the reason he make you do certain things is cause you don't never check, bro. You don't never check, bro. You need to let him know, I ain't no little kid no more. I ain't no little baby no more, bro. And he ain't been be doing you like he been doing you. Bro, have you not met my daddy? Who you know can check him? You can, D. You can check him, bro, cause you his son, bro. And you know him better than everybody. And so what you gonna have to do is meet him on his level and let him know you ain't finna tolerate no more disrespect. And if it don't stop on God, you gonna have to put hands on his old ass. Bro, you crazy as hell. No, I ain't about to do that, man. You, you wanna have a good relationship with your daddy, don't you? I mean, yeah, I do, but- You I wanna be 45 years old still getting whoopings from your daddy? <sighs> no. Exactly, bro. So stop being a sissy and go do something. All right, okay. I go talk to him. No, bro, you ain't going to just talk to him, bro. You going to set him straight. All right, bro. You want me to come with you? No, bro. I I got it, bro. I got it. I got it. All right. If you need me, if you need me, just holler. I got them. Bop bop. Knock them damn bop focus off his face. Now maybe my ears is deceiving me, but it sound like a whole lot of goddamn bass just came out your chest just now. That's right. Cause I'm a man. Now what you gonna do, is you gonna shut up and you gonna listen to me, old man. I'm tired of you disrespecting me. I'm grown. I ain't no little kid no more. And you gonna treat me like a man on guard. Or I'ma have to lay hands on you. Do you feel me, Hester? Or do I need to repeat myself to you? No! I'm sorry! 
Who the hell you think you're talking to? Now maybe my ears is deceiving me, but it sounds like a whole lot of goddamn bass just came out your chest just now. Uh, Dad, can I talk to you real quick? About what? Can I sit down? Yeah, come on. Now what you want to talk about? I don't mean this in like a disrespectful way or anything like that, but like I feel like sometimes you can be so unnecessarily tough on me when I make mistakes or when I say the wrong things or do the wrong things. And I feel like it's not fair. I don't try to make you upset on purpose, but when I do, you do things like yell at me or slap me. And I understand you want me to be a man, but I feel like eventually it's gonna damage our relationship to where I don't even wanna to talk to you anymore because of some of the things you put me through. And I don't want it to be like that. You know what I mean? Son, I understand. Okay, what you gotta realize is, I grew up in a different time when people weren't so sensitive and whippings weren't looked at as child abuse. It was looked at as strictly discipline. Nothing more, nothing less. That is what it is. Now, I guess I could admit, you know, that some of my methods are, you know, kinda old school. And, you know, I, if I'm being honest, I guess I can be a, a little tough sometimes. A little tough? Dad, you made me walk an hour on the highway to get back to the house. Oh, hell, boy, that ain't nothing. I used to walk two days just to get to school. What? My point is, son, the last thing I want is for our relationship to be damaged because of my parenting skills, okay? So, from now on, I try my best to be more understanding, and I try my best not to be so angry? No. Aggressive? No. Violent? No, boy, damn! I try my best not to be so tough, okay? All right. Now understand, that don't mean I'm not gonna be your daddy now. I don't give a damn you 24, 54, 104. I will not hesitate to whoop your ass. You understand? Yeah, dad, I understand. All right. Thanks, dad. Son, thank you for being honest with me. You have my word. That from this day forward, I'm gonna do better. Yeah. And I mean yeah, it. Hell yeah. As a matter of fact. Yeah, I'm you better do better. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. You better say his old ass straight. Excuse me? You excused. You heard what we said. Ain't gonna be no more disrespect. Ain't gonna be no more yelling. Ain't gonna be no more hitting. Next time I come over here and Daryl crying, we gonna take turns rocking your damn jaw. Ain't that right, D? Uh. See, I didn't. He. No, he. See, D scared of you, but I ain't scared of you, bro. I'm from the hood, bro. Oh, is that right? I right. <laughs> better better sit down. <laughs> Why, goddamn, buckle your ass like a seatbelt. Bro, on God, bro. I'ma count to three, bro. And if your ass ain't in that cushion, we're gonna have a problem, bro. One, two, you must have blown your damn mind. Yo, dad, what was that No. What the hell? Uh, uh, what the hell? How the hell he, wait a minute. Hell, hell. You think you big and bad, huh? Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. No, no!